and uh, are we live? All right. Okay, here we go. Hello, Instagram. My name is Sam the Mini Yeti, and uh, welcome to another episode of Sam the Mini Yeti Live. And uh, yeah, it looks like we're already getting some uh, getting some requests to come on live already. Didn't expect that so quickly, but um. But yeah, we're getting Wolferdan, uh, Julian C. Mac, and uh, a lot of cheese are checking out the show now. So hey, everybody! And um, you know, before we continue with the live stream, uh, Rami says hi. Hey, before we continue with this, uh, we are getting some news from the uh, SAG AFTRA strike. In fact, actually, um, what was it? Oh yeah, uh, Marcelo Botaro. Our good friend in the internet puppet community is actually got to be part of a picket line in New York, and he actually got to meet some professional puppeteers over there, including Chris Palmieri, and uh, even Triumph the Insult Comic Dog was there as well. Actually, that surprised me pretty good. And uh, Jesse is checking out the show now, so hey Jesse, she even says hi there. Hey there, Jesse. Um, but yeah, so, so yeah, we, um, uh, we're, the, the sag after strike is still going on, and, um, you know, I've been talking with some people about it, they're bit, and some are saying, like, wait, I thought the, I thought the writers and actors are striking together. Well, technically, yeah, they, uh, they have been striking together for a while now, and, uh, you gotta keep in mind, um, that it was the act, it was the writer's strike that ended. The actor's strike is still going on right now, so, uh, we don't, I don't even know how it's going to end, but what I do know is that, um, uh, Jesse says, is he striking? Um, actually, I can't really say right now, but, um, but anyway, um, wait, and, uh, Jesse is saying, don't you pay him? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, but, um, but basically, I actually do know that, um, that one day the strike is going to end, and, uh, hopefully the actors will get what they, what they want, and, um, and, uh, and Jesse says, David, I mean, I was like, no, he's not striking, David's still going on, it's just, um, David's still here, it's just we, um, we're just standing, we're just doing what we usually do, and we're standing in solidarity for actors who are, for, for the actors right now. The, the writers are, are doing great right now, but for now, we gotta, we gotta stand up for actors, of course. One day longer, one day stronger, you know, that's our thing. So, keep, so, um, but yeah, it was kind of a, kind of interesting thing to happen with, uh, with uh, Marcelo getting to meet uh, Chris Palmieri and uh, and a uh, triumphal comic dog, Bun of Cheese says, "I have s something awesome to show you." Um, okay, well, well, s I might I might get to you later, Bun of Cheese, but um, but you know if I can't, you could always show us in uh, DMs. You know, there's still there's still other ways you could actually communicate with us while we're while we're living. While we're live. Why, why did I say living? <laughs> um, for the love of puppet show is checking out the show now. Hey there. Um, but yeah. Um, and also I hear since it's getting close to Halloween. Uh, I actually learned this from Weird Al Yankovic. Um, right now, uh, since it's getting close to Halloween, if you're a SAG Astra member, uh, you can't um. You can't actually uh, go out as a uh, as a character from a from a struck company, but you could. Act, but that it basically means I, I don't really have much of a problem with it because um, I'm pretty sure that um, that I might have a costume ready. I'm, I'm not sure if I will, but I don't know. Maybe uh, Jesse is Jesse says when we're living. Take that as. Take that as a title. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Okay. But, um, but you know what? 
with that, with those out of the way, uh, we got to get to some live requests already. So let me just get to those real quick. Mm. Uh, let's just see. All right. You know what? Here we go. All right, here we go. And you're on the air. Hey, Sam. Hey there, Julian. Uh, how, how are you? I'm doing good. We got some cooler weather now. Oh, good. That's good to hear. But um, but what have you been up to lately since uh, the last time you were on this show? Well, well, the first time I showed up on the show was uh, back in uh, June 2023. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was kind of a long time ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Also, where's your camera? I can't even see you. I'm right here. I'm right here. Yeah. Yeah, but for some reason, uh, your camera is off. I don't know what's happening there. I I can I actually can see it right here. I I'm I'm not sure I'm not sure why uh your I'm not sure why it's it's uh it's going on from your from uh, what's going on in your on your end. But I can see you. But for some reason you can't see me. Well, like, what the heck's going on here? <laughs> yeah, I like it on my on my end, but it is so that is so weird. I can't I can see you, but I can't but you can't see me. Like what the heck's going on? Oh, oh. Yeah. I I don't know why this is happening because my camera doesn't have any problems though. Oh yeah. So uh, so you can actually see you on your end? Yeah, you can see me on my end, but I can't see you on your end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's so weird. I um, but right now I can actually, but I'm getting something in the chat wall. It says from Cheese Bun, he's saying um, he's actually saying try updating your Instagram. Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe that's why, maybe that's why you, that's why you can't see me. Maybe that's why, maybe maybe you could try updating your Instagram account. See that? Well, not account your Instagram app, make sure it's up to date. And uh we'll let's we can we can see if we can go from there, hopefully. I um yeah. I know mine's up to date, but maybe that's the reason why maybe that's the reason why I, you can't see me. Yeah. This is kind of yeah. odd. I don't know oh, why. Hopefully. But yeah um I've been uh, getting some stuff done. Um it's currently twelve ten in the afternoon right now. I'm just in my bedroom right now, and I'm just playing one of my games. Okay. Apparently, I wasn't able to get into the original Destiny yet because Bungie is having some technical issues with the original Destiny. Because when I first tried to log into Destiny, I keep getting a Mary and Barry error code, which, even though I have the content installed in the original Destiny, it still wouldn't connect me. Ah, I see what's going on. Yeah. I'm just on Destiny 2 right now until they uh, fix this issue. Of course, I got some new stuff coming up in the next year. Uh, well, oh, really? Yeah. There's 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 one last expansion for Destiny 2 being released on February 27th, which is Destiny 2 The Final Shape, which I'm super excited about. Cool. Yeah. And when it comes Christmas Day, I'm going to get my copy of it pre-ordered. But it will not be here until February 27th at the absolute earliest. Okay, okay, I see. Yeah, but I will say that is the expansion I am planning to do. But will I do it in the day of that I get the expansion? That I don't know yet. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, and of course, while I was watching the Destiny Showcase back in August, you might know that um, there, aren't get, there isn't going to be a third Darkness subclass. Instead, there's going to be three new supers coming. Right, right. In which I saw the, the um, 
previews for each of the uh, new supers for each of the characters. I saw the preview for the Warlock Song of Flame, the preview for the Hunter Storm Edge, and the preview for the Titans Twilight Arsenal. Right, right. And they're going to be coming in the final shape DLC, and I will need those supers if I'm able to face the witness. Nice. You know, I got... Yeah. Okay, you know, I gotta mention, since you're talking about games, there is definitely one game that came out more recently, actually, on at least on the PS4 and PS5 that I gotta try out and get, called, uh, I'm not sure if you heard of it, called High on Life. Have you heard of that one? I don't I don't think I have. Well, basically, High on Life is a comedic first-person shooter slash uh, Metroidvania, and uh, basically, uh, the basically it's actually one where the guns are ba actually talk to you. Oh yeah, yeah, and uh, this is actually developed by Squanch Games, and um, and uh, this also was done by uh, Justin Roiland. Um, you know, I'm not gonna. You know, whether he, I know I'm going to mention Justin Roiland, it's kind of inevitable, but, uh, you know, I just want to judge this game as a game. Whether you like Justin Roiland as a person or not, that's be, that's beyond me. But, but just so you know, I actually kind of want to try out High on Life. This kind of looks like a fun game, and the, the thing about it is, is that I am not really a first-person shooters kind of guy at all. I just, I just think, I just think, most first-person shooters don't have that much of an identity, but this one kind of does, especially with its weird visuals uh, and the fact that the guns are able to talk back to you. I just find that kind of fun. Oh, yeah. And it does have some good voice acting talent, actually. Uh, one of the guns is voiced by J.B. Smoove, and uh, one of them is done by... Uh, I can't remember his name. It was it was the voice of Ugly Sonic from Chippendale Rescue Rangers, and uh, there was even and even one of the bosses is voiced by Tom Kenny, the voice of SpongeBob. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not. So yeah, I think High on Life could be a fun game I could try out, but um, I just want to play it as a game. I'm I'm pretty sure it's going to be fun, and uh, keep in mind this this is this is kind of the. This is kind of the same kind of sense of humor that Rick and Morty says is. So if you're if you're under, you can keep in mind High on Life is still rated M. So if you're a kid, don't don't play High on Life. So I still recommend it though. If you if you like games and uh, and if you like first person shooters, I might give it a try. Yeah. The Destiny game that I'm playing right now is rated T for teen, so as long as I'm 13 or older, I can play this game. Yeah, yeah. I, um, okay, I gotta say, um, it's kind of interesting now that I do a live stream today, because, um, Super Mario Brothers Wonder actually came out today. Yeah, and this is something I wanted to tell you after I get off here, after this live stream is what? over. I am gonna be, uh, catching up with MC Chap over on Twitch because he's going to be playing Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Sweet. And, and that'll, be, and, that'll be cool to see, honestly. Yeah. Oh, give me a moment. We got a uh, question in the in, we got a question in the question box, so let me just get to that real quick. So, so this question comes from Camila, and she asks, Sam the Mini Yeti, who are you going to be for Halloween? Well, uh, honestly, I don't know. Last year I was Luckle Ducklebird, and uh, I'm honestly not too sure about uh, who, who I'm going to be for this Halloween. But, you know, <sighs> sorry, I got the hiccups. But you know, I um, even if I if I don't know who I'm going for Halloween, um, I could always still give out candy, and uh, we actually do have a show coming up to, uh, tonight that I'm going to go see called uh, Misery, based on the Stephen King book. So you know, I'm always excited for that. Now uh, let me just get this uh, question out of the way real quick. 
Oh, and uh, Jake Marks says in the chat wall, they sa he says, they created a new power-up that turns Mario and the gang into Cody's mom from SML. Okay, okay, I hear, I, I get it, I get it. But do keep in mind, Jake, uh, we can't, uh, because, uh, because uh, Nintendo it is not allowing SML to to, to uh, to actually uh, reference Nintendo properties anymore. They can't make, we can't say that. I don't think we can say that joke though. Like, like just get rid of that joke, please. We can't say Cody's mom for Super Mario Brothers anymore. We can't do that. And uh, Rami has been saying in the chat wall, Rami is saying, I'm excited. And uh, Rami says, SML, I remember this. Yeah, exactly. That, that's what I'm saying. Um, but yeah. But yeah, the, the, these are the kind of jokes I'm not sure we can do anymore. So I'm sorry about that. But anyway, uh, but anyway, Julian, um, I guess I guess say since you're kind of a gamer, um, what is your favorite retro game? My favorite retro game, um, yeah. one of my favorite retro games I play is it's the one that's only on original Xbox. It's uh, Link's the Time Sweeper. I haven't played that game yet. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be eight different rounds, but um. I couldn't possibly get it, get into that to see how I do. Yeah, yeah. I think my favorite retro games include Sonic the Hedgehog and as well as um, Super Mario World. Yeah, Super Mario World. I love that one. And uh, I also really like the Mega Man games and, of course, uh, Pac-Man. You can't go wrong with Pac-Man. Yeah. Uh, Camila says in the chat wall, I love Super Mario. That's my all-time favorite game when I was a kid. Oh yeah, can't blame you. Now, um, so now, now, um, now Julian, uh, I, we might, I'm, I, I might have to see if there's any uh, other uh, people to come on live. So uh, just give me a moment, and uh, and uh, I'll be getting right back to you. Right. Give me a moment. All right. Um, all right, I'll tell you what, Julian, uh, it has been great ta speaking with you and, um, and, uh, and, you know, it's great to be talking about, uh, about retro games, but, uh, we do have, uh, we do have one more request to come on live. So, uh, thank you for actually uh, checking out the show and, uh, we'll talk to you some other time. That cool, buddy? Great. I We'll see you next week. I better get back to playing my game because I'm getting. I was just getting things started on the new seasonal event that just that just launched. That's the Festival of the Lost event. All right, all right. So uh, see you later, Julian. All right. Okay. All right. See you next week, Sam. All right. Just uh, just give me a moment here. Okay. Now let's see. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and you're on the air. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, I can't do Cheese Bun's voice today. I... <laughs> oh, oh, dang. Crappiness. But I wanted to show you what I'm going to be for Halloween. Okay, what? And I, I found this on Facebook Marketplace for a hundred bucks. All right. So I gotta yeah. lift them up here. Ooh, I, I, I saw that actually. I saw that stories, dude. Yeah, it's um, the one that was on my story was one of the ones that I was getting in the future. Ah, um, nice. But, but right now, it mine didn't come with arms and legs. So right now, I'm working on a pair of arms and stuff. Okay. Okay. So. But, um, so. So the body, like the costume you got so far, that's a real Geoffrey the Giraffe? Yeah, it's the real it's the real one. It's the official costume. Nice. That's I had to cool. I had to go to Indiana to get him. An hour that's and fifteen the, minutes away. Like that is pretty bad A, dude. That is awesome. I love that. I going 
going to Indiana full time, I thought I was going to get out of the car and somebody was going to jump me and steal all my money. <laughs> because I was, I was like, there's no way in crap that they're, that I'm getting this official costume for a hundred bucks. It's just oh, oh, like, oh, yeah, that's uh, that is actually, that is pretty cool. Honestly, I, the fact that you're able to, I, 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 the fact that you got a real uh, right. Joffrey the costume for that, for that, for that much, that's, that's pretty awesome. Honestly, you, you think with Toys R Us and the fact they were closed down for a while, mm -hmm. you think that the, the, those costumes would be like thousands of dollars. That's what well, they, they are online. Um, the reason why this one was so uh, cheap is because when I, I didn't know, I didn't know they were advertising multiple ones. But um, they had like ten of these in a pile on the ground. Oh, oh, oh! Wow! So they just threw them out. They just threw them out. Like what the heck? Well, no, it was just it was like somebody. I don't know if it was. It didn't make sense to where they were. Uh, they were at a pallet making place. Oh. So, oh. So I was like, w who brought a crap ton of giraffe costumes to a pallet factory? Like I'm confused. Like what? Wow, dude, that is kind of strange. And then I had to spend about four hours um, cleaning him because I had to get all the dirt and stuff off of him. Uh, Jake, and then Jake Joseph Clark says in the chat wall, thousands of dollars, that's a lot of green. Yep, it's a lot of green. Well, um, yeah. And I also had to call the paramedics the other night because I got stuck in him. Yeah, that is a... Uh... I got stuck in Jeffrey for about two hours. <laughs> I had to call 911 to come get me out of him. Because <laughs> I couldn't lift him up over my head. So, um. Goodness. 911 <laughs> came in and I was laying on the ground and I said, I'm a Toys R Us kid. That's honestly kind of, that's honestly kind of a funny, that's kind of a funny story. It is funny. Story. At least it, it, if, it, if I had gotten hurt, it'd be different. But, you know, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, um, so, like, these are the arms that I created, actually, for oh. Delfrey. Oh. oh, nice. You want to know where I got this fabric from? It's not the official Toys R Us fabric. Wow. It's, it's, it's fabric from a fabric store. And it's actually the closest that I think that you can get to that. Let's yeah, yeah, that is pretty cool, honestly. Pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And then, since I don't, since I don't want to make, I'm trying to go for, like, vintage Jeffrey. With the newer Jeffrey, so I'm gonna oh, yeah. do is I'm gonna like tuxedo Jeffrey, like with the like when he had gloves, like Mickey did. Oh, oh. yeah. Okay. Yes. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna put my uh, giant Mickey pants on him. Nice. So, because I don't. Yeah. But yeah, this is what I got so far. Yeah. Nice. I really like that. Actually, that is a that is a cool looking costume so far. It is. And it's funny because you say Joffrey because that's the way my friend said it. He was like, "Oh, you got Joffrey the giraffe." <laughs> <laughs> I've heard people say Jeffrey, Joffrey. Yeah. I don't even. Yeah. Well, I think it's Jeffrey, but everybody likes to go Joffrey because it's fancier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was actually thinking that too. Like maybe it's Jeffrey, maybe it's Joffrey, but we don't know really. Right. I also work for uh, haunted. Scream Park where I live, Ooh. and uh, so this is my outfit for tonight. Cool. And then this is the mask that I'm wearing. This is this is a pretty pricey mask as well. Oh yeah, that's a uh, that is kind of freaky. I love that man. You that wanna you wanna know? The, these are human teeth. These are real. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I know, right? Ew. Ew. <laughs> Don't worry. Ew. Don't worry. I think you Ew. brush Ew. your teeth before you go. <laughs> 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 okay. <sighs> yeah, one of, two of them are yellow. Uh. Two of them are yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Joseph Mark says, those are not real human oh. teeth. Well, yes, they are. The person that I bought the costume from, uh, bought uh, that mask from, showed me a piece of paperwork of how he had to sign for those human teeth. Rami says, are you okay? And then he says, then Sam, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. Ugh. 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 
By the way, who wants chowder? <laughs> Family Guy reference. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. great. That was perfect timing. <laughs> Wait, Sam. Yes. Who wants chowder? <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think it's over. <laughs> that is one of my favorite episodes. Yes. And when Stewie was going back in time, becoming a, a becoming being unborn, they did that scene where it reversed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh no! I remember this. Well, no. <laughs> yes. The girl went back into the mouth, <laughs> and he threw it back up, and it went back in. <laughs> People okay. underrate Family Guy so much, oh, and I don't like oh. it. Jake actually says it. Oh my god, my insides are on fire! <laughs> <laughs> they want to shout at. <laughs> Somebody needs to reenact that scene, but with like special okay, effects. Okay, that's enough. Okay, okay, we're gonna waste the whole live stream doing all this. <laughs> <laughs> all you see on a Sam the Minis. Lot, uh, Yeti's live is Peter Griffin moment, Family Guy of Epilax. <laughs> oh, so many titles that I can come up with, but... Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Re but, uh, re reliving memories. <laughs> uh, just give me a moment. But, um, anyway. but so I was doing this, I was making these arms, and I was like, you know, with the gloves... I want you. I want your opinion on who do you think this looks like, this by the arm. Oh, oh, actually, this kind of. I don't even know. Um, who has a yellow arm and a white glove? That's basically Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, that's ta that could be Tails, but I was thinking of more Krusty the Clown. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that one. Hey, hey, kids. <laughs> Oh, that was a good, that was a good Krusty impression. I'm not going to lie. That okay. was really good. I actually played Krusty um, anyway, last um, weekend. It looks like, uh, actually, I was about to say, it looks like we're, uh, we're almost out of time to do a live stream. To, to, we're almost out of time for this live stream. But um, anyway, uh, thanks to uh, Julian and um, Cheese Bun for, oh, there he is. My voice is going to sound like this because I can't go high. So. Anyway, uh, it, but anyway, it almost looks like um, we're almost looks like we're actually uh ready to um, we're almost ready to uh, yeah, we're about we're, we're just about ready to go. But anyway, um, my, thank you, Chief Bun, for checking out the show. I got and, my uh, hand back. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, okay. okay. Where it looks like. Yeah, it's good to see that your hand is actually getting better. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks, che thank you, Cheese Bun, and that guy, and also Julian for checking out the show. And um, hopefully, uh, we might see you guys uh, next week or some other time. So uh, until next week, this has been Sam the Mini Eddie. So we'll see you all next week, folks. See you then. Bye, man. Okay. <clears throat>